Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm doing a little bit different kind of video than I normally do. Um, I have my friend Christine here, and as you can see, we're debuting my awesome t-shirts that finally came in. Um, if you didn't pre-order one of these already, they are still available on my website, or you can contact me directly. Um, sizes and all that stuff is in previous video called Exciting News, which I will link down below. Um, but like, as the title you guys already saw, so we're taste testing sour candy. And me and Christine have been planning to do this video forever. It's just been kind of lining up when both of us could do it and whatnot. So, went to Chicago this previous weekend, which I got a lot of this at. Um, there's a lot of certain candies I wanted to do this with that I've, like, tried in the past. And I know how bad they are. Um, but I just wanted to, like, have them directly without having to order them online or any of that dumb bullshit. So, I have a lot here. There's a lot to go through. These range from, like, super duper duper sour to, like, not very sour at all. So, it's in this awesome bag. I got these from Lolly and Pops. Um, super cute bag. Not sponsored at all, but I just think it's super cute. And, I don't know, I love this color. I love the blue and gold combo, so green and gold, whatever. So, literally gonna dive into this and just kind of do it. Um... I'm going to save what I think are the two worst ones for last, just because I know how bad they are. And we're going to kind of compare some and whatnot. So, here we go. First two, we're going to do our Sour Patch Kids and Sour Patch Kids Extreme. I don't know if there's really a difference between the sourness, but we're going to find the fuck out. So, this is going to be interesting. I know Sour Patch Kids are not really that sour. Like, these aren't going to be that bad. My floor is gonna be a mess by the time we're done with this. <laughs> we only have like a thousand and one opened candy. I heard the blue are the most sour. Okay. But how many are sour that I'm normally like, used to? By the way, it's gonna kill my diet. Oh, I know. Christine has been on the Ideal Protein Diet since January. January 5th. And she has lost over 100 pounds. You guys don't even know. I've been friends with Christine for a very long time. And just remarkable how much weight this woman has lost. And I had to give her credit for it because she's... I, I've tempted her with lots of different kinds of food. And she stayed strong for the most part. Except for when I buy truffles from the chocolate factory and bring them in. Yeah, it goes from a piece to the whole truffle. Yeah. So. These are the second ones? Yeah, those are supposedly worse. I can see the difference. There's a difference. Um, good old Mike and Ike Zowers. For some reason, I'm like almost 100% sure these just used to be called Zowers. And like they were never Mike and Ike Zowers. But maybe Mike and Ike bought out the company that does Zowers. I don't know. I don't do this type of shit normally. I love sour candy, like, I'm weird and I'll eat, like, lemon straight up. So, I've always liked sour candy, and I always, like, try to find the sourest candy I can possibly find. So, if you know of a candy that's, like, way more sour than anything you see in this video, and you want to send it to me for future taste testing, I will accept it. As long as you don't, like, put arsenic in it or anything. Please don't poison me. I love sour, it's, like, my favorite. Absolutely obsessed with ours. Alright, I got a double. Let me have that one back. Next one we've got is. Oh my lord, come on, camera focus. Do what I want you to do. Or not. Anyway, this is um, Skittle Sours, another like classic favorite. Except for like these, like if you eat too many of these, these are so brew for your mouth that there's no damn tomorrow. I also didn't get like the Sweet Tart Shockers, which I don't know why I didn't get those, but. Riding the bus to Struggle Town. Hey! Okay. See, these aren't even that sour either. Our level of immunity to sour candy. No, by far the second one we did so far has been. The most sour. Um, that's gonna wait. That's gonna wait. That's gonna wait. Um, we'll do these ones next. 
maybe, if I can grab them. These are... Zots! Zots, yeah. So, like, when I bought these from the candy store that I bought them from, the lady's like, oh yeah, these are so supposed to be sour. Like, I don't think Zots are actually supposed to be sour, but whatever. The lady at the store said they're supposed to be sour, so... Zots are more, like, they're not sour as much as they have, like, that fizzy mm -hmm. junk yeah. in them. Okay. Apparently I'm on the bus with you now. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. There we go. Not sour at all. Wow. Apparently Christine is driving the bus to struggle down. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord have mercy. See? Own candy yet, yeah. Yeah, mm. not sour. Very sweet, though. They're almost like... They're almost sour because they're so sweet. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, they're fizzing. Okay, next one is Crybaby Tears. Oh, there we go. Now it focuses when I want it to. Crybaby Tears. I remember these from when I was like a kid. Never heard of them. They suck. They're not really that bad, but they suck. The crybaby, there was a crybaby gum. Oh, there's a crybaby like egg candy that comes out during Easter time. And it is like a gumball egg, but it has like citric acid filled in the middle. Mm -hmm. So when you chew on them, like it, oh, those are bad. Hmm. Another thing I'll just like open them and chew them because it's really hard to chew bubble gum when you have dentures. These ones are probably the worst so far. They're not like terrible. But they're definitely a little bit more sour than I got I got nothing. You got nothing? No. Nope. I'm just lucky. Um those don't even count. But I'm gonna do those. Now into the actual like more sour candy. So first thing we're gonna do is warheads. I remember when I was a kid, like it was a challenge to see how many you can put in your mouth at once. Now it's a challenge to see how many other things you can put in your mouth at once. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've always heard the black raspberry is supposedly the sourest. I don't know if that's true. We'll go there. Other people say that lemon's the sourest. Who the hell knows? They're probably all the same sour. Mine's watermelon. Oh. There you go. Wait. Make sure. Yeah. Black cherry. Okay. Powder on this, it's the sour, isn't yeah. It? These are like really freaking bad. So, mm. oh, <laughs> you totally spit all over me. so much sour as is it's actually kind of gross it, it tastes hurt. like i don't even know what to describe it it tastes like it's just um ugh. Ugh. i think what's worse is the fact that like laughing brought more air into my mouth which for some reason made it sourer <laughs> and i don't remember these ever being the sour so apparently i got a really good batch holy crap so there's one candy that I cannot do only because it's bubblegum. And I'm not going to deal with like six hours trying to get bubblegum off my dentures. So we're going to save that one for last for her. But the next one is Toxic Waste Smog Balls. Oh my god. Um, I have three different things from to Toxic Waste just because I know these ones are bad. So Crunchy Sour Candy with a Sour Chewy Center. I know nothing about these. There's Lime, Cherry, Strawberry, Lemon, Blue Raspberry, and Grape. Um, I remember Toxic Wakes coming out when I was a kid and it just being like so much worse than Warheads. This was never a thing when I was a kid. Really? No. It wasn't until, I gotta think it was 21 or 22 before I got in the whole sour candy thing. And that was only because my sister-in-law's 
were like eight or nine. And we road tripped it from Iowa all the way to Michigan on the back roads. And we stopped at every gas station and got every sour candy that every gas station mm -hmm. had. And that's what we did the whole way. I got a blue raspberry just because I don't know what flavor you want. Mm. Let's do lime. Let's try a lime one. Okay. Warhead no longer sour. I'm taking it out of my mouth. No, it goes away. Yeah, it's... Once you get the white powder off, you're good. Yeah. Okay. So... So hard to eat this with my Nothing teeth. on the outside. Zero in. Zero on the inside? I can't even, like, bust it open. Yeah, there's nothing. Take care of your heat, ladies and gentlemen. Dentures suck. Um... Okay, we'll do this one now to let Christine get that away before we do the worst one. So these are Toxic Waste Zaps. This is like extremely sour bubble gum. Another thing, I love these when I used to be able to chew them. And someone needs to make a way that bubble gum does not stick to dentures. Do you want pink, blue, or green? You pick. Oh, we'll give you pink. Um, these I remember. So like... I, like, investigated these once when I first got them, and so, like, the outside isn't sour at all. Like, the outside is just normal bubble gum, but as you chew into it, I might be able to, like, bust it open and just get, like, the sour stuff in the middle. Um, the inside is, like, a sour paste, almost. It's, like, a thick citric acid paste, so instead of it being powder, it's I got, I like, know what machine they mold these on. It's got a little nipple. See if I can like, if I can peel it open, I might be able to get like the sour crap out of the middle. Tastes like rubber. Tastes like rubber. Mm-hmm. Takes a minute. Yeah. There really isn't a whole lot of sour in it, but, like, they are kind of sour. It's a little hard, but... Yeah. So, the last and final one is the original Toxic Waste. So, I actually bought this one, and then I bought this one. So, this one, we're going to give Christine to take home with her, so that she can torture her friends and family with it. So, that's one yours. But... I don't even know Hazardly what... sour, huh? So, it also, oh, excuse me, it comes with stickers, which everything in life is better with stickers. Oh my god, there's a cute little... There's a dinosaur. dinosaur. It's Aww. a toxic Sorx Rex. Um, I don't know which one's... I think we should compare and do the black cherry, since we did the black cherry from Warheads. Oh, it's cute. It's a bank when you're done. Yeah, it's a little That's piggy cute. bank. Full of sludge. Okay, so this is what these ones look like in comparison if my camera will decide to actually focus. Maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. And we're comparing this to the Warheads? Yeah. Because okay. these are supposedly worse than Warheads. They don't have the film on it like the Warheads do, though. Oh, my... Oh, it burns! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> It's just so gross. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Mine sucked in my mouth. If I bite into it, is it gonna come back? <laughs> tastes like black cherry. See, you would think with me having dentures that it would be worse or it wouldn't be as bad because like you don't have the roof of your mouth to like soak up the sour, but I don't know. It's still bad and it's still horrible. Oh. Ugh. So, 
out of all of them, which one was the worst? Well, this one, but just yeah. in pure nastiness. Yeah. I mean, it didn't taste like black cherry until I bit into it. Otherwise, it was just... I don't... God, it almost tasted like... You know when you get up in the morning and you've got just that glecky on your oh, tongue? Yeah. That, that, that morning breath taste? That's kind of what it tasted I feel like it kind of, like... I now have, like, an abrasion on the roof of my denture. Like, I can, like, feel, like, this weird abrasion. So I don't know if there's, like, candy stuck to it or if I, like, ate into my denture. I don't know. It was crazy. These ones, if you guys can get, are definitely bad. Like, they're they're very, very, very sour. I remember when these first came out. And supposedly these are, like, the world's sourest candy. Every time I Googled it, these came up as, like, the world's most sour candy or whatever. These are very, very, very sour. And I, I don't I like sour candy. So, but... There you guys go. There is our sour candy taste test video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below. If you aren't already and you would like to subscribe, and that you know that always helps me, you guys. I do have some very exciting news coming to you guys relatively soon about my subscribers and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned for more information about that. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.